Hi, I'm Greg Mike with YouTube channel Never a Dull Moment. I do consider myself one of the premier knife sharpeners. I'm excited today to show you a set of sharpening stones from the Sewindi store. This particular dual stone sharpening comes packaged in a box to, to protect it with foam. You can see that the stone is intact, protected by the, the foam on the inside. And it comes with this rubber base so that you can stick it right on top of the counter and it doesn't move. So this particular dual stone comes with two grits. It comes with a 400 grit and a 1000 grit. The 400 grit would be used for a knife that is very dull. The 1000 grit can be used to maintain your knives as they start to lose their edge or if it's actually dull. A thousand grit a lot of times is really all you'll need, but something that's really lost its life, the 400 grit will bring it back faster and get you back in the game. Okay, so a whetstone is basically a lot of abrasives held together by an adhesive. And as you use the whetstone over time, it will wear away. But I've used the products by this company before and it takes a long time for that to happen. So we're excited to share this with you. This particular stone is a soaking stone. So before we begin, we do have to soak it in some water, which of course we happen to have handy. And then as we go ahead and put this in some water for five to 10 minutes, we'll go ahead and show you that typically you'll start to see some bubbles. Whether you see bubbles or not, which is this one's looking pretty good actually, um, you definitely wanna wait five to 10 minutes. We're starting to get a little bubble action here. So the stone itself, nice. You can see it on top as well, little, little activity. Let the stone do its thing and absorb the moisture and it will help with the performance. We'll be back after it's done its job. So adding water to the stone, we're going to place the knife flat on the stone and then raise the knife up we're trying to get 15 degrees. If you don't know what 15 degrees is, you can take a moment to put either a matchbook behind the knife or three pennies just to get a feeling. And then once you've kind of figured out what that feels like, go ahead and remove the pennies or the matchbook so that way you can slide the knife at this angle away from your body. I have the blade towards me and as the blade is towards me, I'm gonna put some fingers on the knife. You'll notice that I pinch the knife up to high. I have fingers on both sides. And when I raise the knife up, my thumb is on the blade. I can put pressure on the back end of the knife. I'm then gonna place some fingers on the stone and I'm going to push away from me. When I come back, it's, I'm not lifting, but imagine it's very mildly scraping, but the pressure's on the away and then it rides back. And after a while, you can learn to just let your fingers sit on the knife. So we're going to press, press, press. And after I do three, I move my fingers. Press, press, press. Now we're using the 400 grit that you can see. It's going to be a little coarser as you saw that this particular knife was really dull. So we're going to go ahead and use the 400 grit. And if I think the stone is starting to get a little dry, which as long as I see moisture on top, I'm good. But when I start to feel or hear that it's getting a little bit dry, I'll add some more. And you can see me doing the three strokes and moving my fingers. I'm putting pressure away. You can come back in the opposite direction if you'd like. Now what we're trying to do is as the metal is being pushed, metal will rise up and I, when feeling for the metal to curve upwards and we refer to the lip that is formed as a burr. So I am looking for a burr. As you can see, there's material on top of the stone and it's moving freely. 
please don't remove the material. The material is actually helping us to sharpen the knife. And you'll see me trying to use all of the, the stone. If you have trouble getting in one corner, turn the stone around and that way it might help you get there. And that'll help sure that your stone wears evenly. Let's take the time to feel. And you should be able to actually feel it. And if you get really advanced, you can really see my fingers walking up and down the stone. And that just comes with time. Okay? So the next trick is either to use the same hand and turn the knife over in which you are going to press towards you, or I do advise that you take the time and turn the knife over. This does take some practice in which I am going to find my angle, get your device if you need it, and then once you've established your angle, can see my finger sliding down. Once we feel that lip, or what we call the burr, rise up on this side of the knife, then we're able to take the stone, We can turn it over. Remember, it fits right back in the base. We're going to remove the debris from the coarser stone. So that way it's clean. Hydrate the stone on this side. And we're doing the same thing. We got our angle. This does take some practice and over time you'll get it. If you need to move slow, if you need to move slow, take whatever time you need to feel and get it the way you need it. And then over time you will get better. Trying to use all the stone. That way the stone will wear evenly over time. The stone can last you for a long time. This is something that you can do to any knife on just Sunday before you go to use or Saturday before you go to cook to restore and make sure you get a fresh edge. If you're doing it once a week, you might be able to do it just on the thousand grit side. Now, one of the things that I like to do when I'm finished, just to make sure the edge itself is very clean, is we are going to put our knife down and raise up the knife the same amount of degrees, and we're going to push the blade into the stone. And it is going to remove any metal That might be just hanging on the edge. 
whether you do it this way or keep the knife and push the blade into the stone towards you. This is called edge leading strokes. You can do this a numerous amount of times, whether it's five, 10 or 20. And we'll just go ahead until we're ready. done make sure that you clean the knife because it's wet and it has particles that I'm sure you don't want to get in your food and once it's clean the same knife on the same piece of paper Remember that your spouse can be very irritated by the mess you're going to want to make. Especially the, um, you want to get creative in carving paper. So, when you're done sharpening your knife, please take the opportunity to clean the stone. Wash it with soap and water. Uh, actually, a magic eraser works really great. Um, once you're done cleaning the stone, please leave the stone out to dry. Do not put it away until it's completely dry. That'll keep it from breaking later. And like I said, if you do these little tips, you'll always have sharp knives and you'll have a stone that should last you a lifetime. So again, I'm Greg Blythe with Never No Moment for the Sawindy Store. I hope you enjoy your product as we have today. Thank you.